tell them the right things, but you know, you better be in raw. Going big back to 10 years ago when he knocked them out. You know, he felt that pressure. He felt that punching power. He felt that body work. How do you feel? Um, you think Canelo's match for any of these guys? Canelo? Yeah. Man, that's a that's a tough that's a tough ass. I'm not saying he's gonna win, but you think he'll be competitive? That's just a tough ass, man. Canelo's a smaller smaller guy coming up to this weight class, man. He's gonna take that risk because uh, you know, Kovalev. Kovalev is, is kinda, you know, watered down a little bit. You know, he's he's been a little longer than tooth, you know what I mean? A little longer than two. So I think I think that's the reason why he's taking that risk and he sees opportunity to break Kovalev down to the body. That's his specialty. So he's willing to take that risk and go up and fight at 175 pounds against a guy like that. But a guy like Better Be, I don't think so. He, I, I don't think so. I don't think he wants that. I really don't think. I don't think Canelo wants that. That's pain. So how do you think? So how do you think a fight with um, Better Be and um, Bivol would go down? Oh, that's an interesting fight because Bivol is a bad boy. Not saying who you think would win, but who are you giving the slight edge to? Uh, man, I'm gonna give the slight edge to Better Be. Better be a Bivol is a smaller guy, man. He's a smaller, light heavyweight. Great fundamentals, good power. He punches hard with both hands as well. He has the punching power that can probably get the respect of Better be of, but man, yeah, you saw tonight, nothing deterred that guy. Nothing stopped him from coming. He took it, he kept coming and kept coming and just he will just destroy it. Destroy Ball's deck. And I thought, I thought, honestly, I thought that Ball's dick was gonna be able to outbox him. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Volstick was supposed to win this fight, in my opinion, because oh, so, he was the so. boxer. Because he was the boxer. Did you have him winning? Uh, no, I didn't have him winning. I didn't have him winning the fight. Well, I thought it was a close match. Yeah, just style? because of the style. Skill? You look at the styles, you look at the skill, yeah. you see one guy has more, can do more, mm -hmm. but then you see the pure will. He didn't have that. You know, that was the other guy. That was better be if he had that will, that will to win. Do you think the fight was stopped at the right time? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, man. It was either it was either the, the ref was going to stop the fight or I believe Teddy was going to stop the fight yeah. because, you know, Teddy, Teddy Ellis, I'm familiar with him. I know him. He's my trainer. Yes. You know, he his protection, protecting you is the most important thing, you know. And he says, I want to get you home to your family. He saw that his fighter was taking some damage. And I'm sure he was he's very hesitant in, in, in getting up there and probably stopping the fight. So. With that being said, your thoughts on, you know, Pat Day and everything? On which? Uh, you called Pat Day's last fight with a, a Davis. And uh, your thoughts on Pat Day and everything? Man, it's unfortunate, man. You know, but, you know, it just shows you, you know, how, how real the sport is, man. And and I, I'm a firm believer that, you know, everybody has their time. You know, Pat Day was a, a was a young, a smart kid, uh, educated, great parents. Um, you know, he fought because he loved boxing. Mm -hmm. You know, and, he, and you know, and I remember a conversation I had with him. He said, I said, man, you educated, you got a degree. Why don't you just do that? Why mm -hmm. boxing? He says, because... In my lifetime, I want to do something great. That's what I do. I want to win a world championship. You know, I don't want to be normal. I don't want to be like everybody else. And you know, and that, that stuck with me. And so, you know, him put, putting his life on the line, that's what we the fighters do. Every time we step foot in that ring, we put our life on the line, man. Believe it or not. And that's a prime example of it. But, you know, God needed the angel. You know, everybody has their time. Last week, we saw, who was it, Earl, Earl Spence. And the car accident came out unfazed. It wasn't his time. But for some reason, unfortunately, I'm sad. I'm saddened by this. Yeah. You know, Day, a great guy, a great phenomenal fighter, man, lost his life to boxing. What do you say to Charles Conwell? How does Charles, Charles, Charles Conwell go forward with his career? It's going to be tough for you know, him. Such a young man. You know what? You it's going to be very tough for, yeah. for, for Carwell. And I, and I understand he said he's, gonna, he's made that choice. Yeah. But, you know, it could change. You know what I mean? Because he's not going to view view fighting the same way. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? When he starts putting pressure on guys, he's going to think back yeah. to what happened in the day fight. So that could hinder him for getting to where he wants to be at the championship, you know, mentally, man. Yeah. This is this sport's about the mental game, man. You know, 90% of this sport is mental. And if you go in there and you have, have, do it, and you don't believe anymore because of this situation that happened, then you don't belong in the ring. You can't half step this sport. Gotcha. That's yeah. a prime example. You put yourself you at risk. You put yourself at risk. Yeah. How, yeah. Did, how did you score the fight with Triple G and Derrick Chang? You think it was a controversial decision? Derrick Chang won the fight. No. Okay. But how'd you score? Do you think the I didn't, I didn't I, I watched the fight. I watched the fight. I didn't score. I didn't have like a scorecard. I just thought that from the second round yeah. on, my gosh. <laughs> you know, wow. I'm not good today. 
I'm really not good. I'm, I can't work. I don't continue. I'm just work a job. I don't know what happened, but I'm not good. You uh, hey, why, well, if that wasn't your good, then hey, I, I, I would hate to see your good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but no, I mean, really, it's, if I, I'm not good today. Who hey, you that's next, crazy. Who you want next? That's crazy. One day maybe I became a good boxer. <laughs> no, you look phenomenal, man. You showed your... Yeah, you're a unified champ. Right you are a good right boxer, right right man. Right. Beautiful right hand to the body as well. Tim, do you think the myth of Triple G being this boogeyman is over now? With me and the last performance? <laughs> Listen, man. Deron Chanko, if I'm saying that right, I don't know if I'm saying his name right. Deron Chanko, or whatever his name is, you know, how he says. So, the fact that, the fact that he got, he went down, got back up, came forward, boxed, brawled, went down to the body and hurt Triple G, pressed them all night long, you know, from being knocked down, you know, I, you should have gave him not. He pushed Triple G back he, like nobody. Canelo didn't even do this to Triple G. Canelo couldn't even do this, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He put it all out there on the line, and I just felt that, you know, he won the fight, yeah. probably close margin, you know, maybe one point, I would give him the edge and win in the fight. In regards to Canelo, there's been a lot of criticism over the years about Canelo trying to have Walter Wood move up to, let's say, uh, better way. Do you think he should get, he should be taking credit now for moving up to, to 175 now? Yeah, That's man. a smaller man? Yeah, absolutely, okay. absolutely. You know, when you look at pound for pound, it's gotta be, it's about risk too. That's what it's about. It's about risk. It's about fighting the right fighters. It's about it's about you know accomplishments. You know that's this is my pound for pound. You know so. But what Canelo is doing, going up two weight divisions, and going to face another guy, a little watered down. I get it. You know I you get it. But it's still see people. Yeah, that's what that's the critics, okay. and I'm one of them critics. And I have to say he's not what he used to be. Okay. But he's still not a bad fighter, and he's still dangerous. You know, so still some risk for Canelo. He got to get past that jab. But we all know why. We all know why. So how much water is in him? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I'm just what basically what I'm just basically saying yeah. is, is that he wasn't what he's, he's not what he used to be. Gotcha. Okay, he's not what he used to be. And we see some runnability in his in his arsenal, basically in his defense. He can't take it to the body. Mm. Anybody can see that. Do you think Canelo can stop him? Man. I think so. I think so. There's a possibility that Canelo could stop, could stop him, and, and Canelo need a stoppage. Mm. You know, he needs a stoppage. Why you know, you moving up too see, the problem is, is that a lot of people are, are, are questioning, questioning his his record, questioning his accomplishments, because now not me, but people <laughs> are. I hear all the time and saying, oh, he fought a blown up uh, welterweight. He fought this blown up welterweight. He went up this weight class. He didn't fight this guy. He avoided this guy. So he 